Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I am here with my sister Molly. Hello. Whoa, okay, I don't do videos like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird setup for her. Um, she's at Stream and Freedom if you want to follow her. She is here today to talk about her bullet journal. She went from using a Passion Planner Compact, and we have a video on my channel about that and about how she used her Passion Planner. And then she transitioned into using the Katie Daisy, which I've posted about her stuff about that on my Insta stories before. And then she transitioned into a bullet journal, just a Leutsch term, but she has it in this one star leather cover, which I have a review on this cover on my channel also. We both love ours. Do we have the same one? I think ours look like the same color. Do you? I think so. We'll have to compare them. I'm not positive, but it looks like it. Okay, so I'm going to let her talk mm. about, first of all, why she went to bullet journaling. Okay. So, and what, like, if you want to, like, open your pages to flip through while you're talking okay. about it. Well, first off, I'll show you the pen that I like to use. It's, can you see that? Uh -huh. Combo mono drawing pen and a number three. I bought it in a set that came with um, one, three, and a five. And okay. I use all of them kind of when I do my layouts, but when I write in it, I use the, the three the most. Okay, let's look at the tip of this pen. Okay, so it's just, it's like a very fine tip felt yes. tip. And do you not find that, does this one get bent in quickly? Uh, I've had it for, I don't know, at least three or so months. Okay, and you, you've you been using I the same it. one. Now, I would say if my children grabbed a hold of that, they would bend it really okay. fast. But I haven't had any problems with it. Okay, so this is your favorite pen you love. And the way she hooks it in, do you want? I hook it in um, on the strap, so just right there. And it, so the top kind of holds it. I can't take credit for this. I did not think of it. Okay. Um, Jen yeah. at Pretty Neat Living. Does that. Does okay. That. Okay. Which is where I discovered um, the One Star Leather cover. cover that we love. Well, you can get a pen strap on his leather cover, but it does stick out quite far the way yeah. that they do the pen hook. So many people choose not to. I didn't want to do this. Yeah. 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 Um, so I decided, so Jen at Pretty Neat Living does a bullet journal, and she has for a while. And I watched her videos, and I thought, and even when bullet journaling first came out, I thought, I can't do that. I need <laughs> something that's already done for me. Um, but I wanted to give it a try because I still hadn't found the perfect um, planner for my on-the-road traveling. Um, and I don't always need a lot of space. And I don't always have a lot of things to fill in so I can change the layout from week to week. This is based my, on what you're doing. Based on what I'm doing. Because your life changes and a where lot. where I'm at. Some weeks, from, like there's been a couple weeks where I haven't used it at all, which I know is unheard of for you, Amanda. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's good. I mean, I think people should go with however their life is flowing yes. in the season. And yours just happens to change <clears throat> more than normal because you're traveling. Yes. So each place you go is completely different schedule. So November is when I started it. And then... So you put a little washi tape... On the edge yeah, to be able to find that Yeah, a lot of my month. ideas I got from Jen. But then Boho Berry on Instagram and who was that other gal? Amanda. Is it Doodles? Rach Doodles or something. We'll. Yeah, I'll link them below. Um, So I started out with a vertical monthly layout. And then I had goals. A tracker. I start really strong and then I like fall off. And That's I, always, okay. I started strong on tracking my mood. So. Yeah. I like that mood lines because it's simpler than a lot of other mood trackers that I've seen. Well, Jen did, did a she mood do mandala. One? No, I know I've seen that. And I thought I that is do not that. simple. That is not. Simple. I didn't know mood lines was a legit thing. I did it, and then I was, and then I saw it on Instagram, like bullet okay. journal hashtag. I'm like, oh, I actually did something good. <laughs> Yay! Well, I like it because it sticks out to me. Like I can really see my mood for the month yeah. if this was it. You know, because it's each line is big. I, I, that's like my favorite mood tracking thing I've seen because I am like for simple. And if you like clean, simple, yeah, lines, this is very And you're not artistic. Like, yes. Although you are way more artistic than me. Everyone can tell from the lettering and I stuff. I pretend. They've seen me right. I copy. <laughs> and so then I did it just a really basic layout for my first go. Okay. And I didn't, 
I didn't love it. But, but what you were doing was putting appointments on the left and to-dos on the right. Yes. Okay. But it's still a lot of space. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really need it okay. that much. I just taped that in. I love Mary Uncle Bright. And they know I do too. <laughs> <laughs> so I did that layout for a few weeks. And then I th threw in like I needed to make a list for like a hiking yes. pack. And then near the end of November, I tried a different layout <laughs> where the weekly events were right there, like scheduled things. And then my to-dos. Yeah, I love that. And then notes. And this works really well because on the road, I don't have a lot of things that are typically scheduled. And then I had a spot for gratitudes. Well, you know why that would even work well for me, not being <clears> on the road? <throat> it's because we don't have a lot of timed events. You have a lot of to-dos. Right. <laughs> and so, I mean, you know, most weeks that could fit in all my timed events. And I like my timed events to stand out. So. So I really like, this has been one of my favorite layouts. Yeah. Yeah. There's more lists. So the flexibility of this is like you don't work ahead and draw out your weeks ahead. No. So let's explain that. I've never planned ahead. I plan week by week. I do keep an eye calendar. I right. I it up with my husband and I do plan ahead in that. Like, right. So that's where all her appointments, all her planning ahead goes in her phone in her eye calendar. And so she doesn't draw out her week until what day for the next week? Typically Sunday. Okay. But if I know if I'm going to have a busy Sunday, then I'll do it Saturday or Saturday something. or Friday, like before that. Right. So that's like um, you can have blank pages in between to do this because you come up with like, oh, I need to make a packing because list. Because you can index it. Right. I need to remember stuff for race day. And so, right. So you just can make extra pages anytime you need them. That's another thing I like about the bullet journal because it has multi-purposes. Yes. So another reason I love the bullet journal is that it can multitask. So one journal planner can give me my scheduling. It can also let me do lists. So I just have one book. Right, right. Cuts down on space and the things that I need. Right, and especially with, oh, we ne we didn't mention for anyone that doesn't know my sister. She has been um, traveling across the U.S. in an RV. What kind? Again, I can... It's a motorhome class A 2017 fleet with Pace Arrow for anyone who's interested. And if you want to know more about them, they have a YouTube channel at Stream and Freedom. They are linked on my sidebar. And I will try to remember to link them below on the description too. So they have been traveling for over a year and a half. May will be two years. Okay. This May 2018 will be two years with her three boys. And, and with her husband. Yes. <laughs> so that's why we keep saying she's on the road and traveling. So if you didn't know that, we should probably add that in there. So being in that motor home, it's great to have one book and you have a limited amount of space and you need it to function for everything for you. Yes. And it keeps it all together. So you're not going around looking for notes on this or that right. or whatever. It's compact and it's pretty. Yes, it is pretty. And she does have the uh, copper... Bleach Germ, which is their 100th anniversary edition, which they now offer on Amazon, too. And I have a whole review video on their gold, silver, and copper. And we both got these credit card pockets, but I have mentioned in my other videos, but I want to mention to them real quick because um, I like to warn people. So I tested out writing with this stuck in here. Okay. I liked it in here better just because it felt like a full yeah. book when you open it. But if you are anywhere near the beginning of your book, because this is inside then, you have these bumps and it makes bumps when you're writing. So if you're going to want to stick your cover, if you're getting this one star cover and you're going to want to stick it in here, I highly recommend not ordering, getting the pockets. They are additional money anyway, because you won't have the option of sticking this in here. You can feel like if you're getting it made for a Hobonichi too, yeah. cause he does those. So I highly recommend, um, not getting those on there. So that's November. I finished November off. December I started the same way with the vertical it's so monthly. pretty. Monthly goals. November tracker. Now let's just appreciate this. <laughs> Look how pretty. My page would not be that neat or pretty, but it's so cute. It's pretty. I love it. Um, Even the tracker. Mood lines. Um, that's, I don't know why. 
But that's the flexibility. Oh, I did because it starts on a Friday. I was finishing oh, off okay. that week. But okay. I wanted to start a new page for December. For the new month. Yeah, because you already went into December. And that's another flexibility of a bullet journal. Whereas a planner might make you finish that whole week in yeah. November. And, like, you don't get all these choices. But making your mm -hmm. own bullet journal, she could be like, well, I'm starting my December monthly spread. And I just want to yeah. start December. So December, I carry out that same kind of layout. layout. More lists. I love it all. Now, any Look at of that. these cute artistic details, I copy from someone else. I might well, tweak them a little bit to make them easier. You still drew it. Um, and it's cute. Same layout. And I kind of typically pick a color for the month. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like that. It's not until the new year. So January, I do start off with the vertical monthly and goals. Mm -hmm. I started keeping track of my training because I started a weightlifting program okay. at the beginning of this year. I do mood lines again. This is still the same. I thought, oh, here, no. Oh, what? I did this is slightly changed. I I, I add a December, oh. the monthly calendar, but look it. Yes. I didn't realize you December. it was December, <laughs> even though it is January. <laughs> And then I decided to keep my track of my habits weekly to see okay. if that would be easier to keep up with. Really not so much. Okay. <laughs> okay. For me. And then you don't have that whole monthly view. Right. But it looks cute up there. So I did. I liked how this looked. But you just don't have your extra note section. I have a tiny note section down here. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that. Okay. So I tried that for a couple weeks. Okay. But I still am not that great at tracking. Yeah. <laughs> Here's That's okay. Notes. More notes. Same layout. Most of January. I think February is when I, I switch. Okay. And then February. Okay. You switched your layout. I switched my layout. That's the Amanda something doodles. Uh -huh. I can't remember. Um, I added this at the bottom because she had some artistic stuff down there and I was not even going to okay. attempt that. So I thought, oh, I'll keep track of my workouts because I am That's good. weightlifting for one training program and then I'm starting training for a half marathon. She's going to run her third half at Disney in April. Yeah, right? April. The Star Wars half. Yes, I'm right? excited. Because we have all boys. So if, if we were going to pick a Disney half to do, yeah. it's not going to be like the Tinkerbell half. The print or the princess. Right, because we just, we never got into that with our kids. All boys. <laughs> so pretty much I live at the gym the first couple hours of the day. <laughs> and she does. She finds her gym everywhere they go on the road. Yeah, anytime fitness. That's how they're going to book where they are, right? <laughs> you have to be near a gym. Right now I need to be near a gym. If yeah. it's bad weather, I can't run outside and I have to get my runs in. Yes, so. yes. Look, that is so cute. I so love that. So I changed it up a little bit from this spread. Yeah. Um, but basically the same layout. Okay. And then I wanted to try something I saw on Boho Berry. I kind of tweaked it to how I wanted it. Okay. But this layout. So it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. To see if I like that better. So scheduled times, the top box, to-dos, and the second. Okay. On the bottom half. How are you feeling about it so far? I have mixed feelings. Okay. Um, I'm not... I'm not 100% sure. I am going to, I went ahead and drew it out again, slightly okay. different. To, I need to try at least a couple of weeks. Yeah, I know. That's, it's so true. Like going into any new planner, yeah. you can't just give it a week. Yeah. You have. I felt like this was too much color for me. Okay. Um, so I went with the gray and then I decided these are going to be my boxes for my workout okay. of the day. Because this one, I just wrote it in. Right. And it wasn't really but separate. But it kind of blends, yeah, it blends in. So this is finishing up February. This is when March begins. Okay. That's why I put February, March. Uh-huh. Those are the dates. So See, the way my brain thinks, this is weird how different people's brains. I cannot go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I have to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yes. Saturday. Boho, like I have Boho to. Boho Berry had it set up like that. But okay. But I liked, my brain is like one page that way. than one page. Okay. And mine has to go across. That's so, interesting. But she, Boho Berry had it set up like that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try this out for another week. So far, okay. I think. What layout do you, are you feeling? I really like this one. Okay. But there's a part of me that really likes this. Your first. Because 
the weekly events are right there. Okay. Now I might try this again, but make these boxes maybe a little bit bigger where it kind of resembles this more where it takes up the whole page. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want... That would be interesting. Send me a picture of that when you do it. So <laughs> I think if I don't like this enough to do it again for a third week, I'll try that other one. Yeah, and keep us updated Okay, on that. So, well, right now we didn't say. My sister wasn't planned to be in town right now, but they were just driving through, and they were going to be able to stop here for three days in town. And so they're here for three days so they can see us for one day, my parents for one day, and her in-laws yeah. for one day. So they can give every, the, the three most important people. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they can give everybody here one day while they're here for three days. So while she was here, I was like, and can we film our video? Because we never did it all yeah. the months she was here in the fall yes, and Christmas. We didn't. So, but this is better actually because you've done so much more, more and experimented yeah. with so many different layouts. And when you come back in the summer, we will do a Another like up. catch up. Okay. Yes. But I really do like the washi tape because I can go back. To oh, I love mother. that washi tape. So I don't know where Jen um, from Pretty Neat Living, if she got that idea for someone, I got my idea from her. But this is thin washi, right? She uses or thick washi. But this is thin. That's all I have. Okay, but she uses it. thick and but folds I like, it. I like the thin. And use the thin and fold it. Yes. And you just cut but, it. Yeah. And, and I the use, I chose, and you know, all mine are just solids. But I kind of yeah. like the solid. I love the solid. I don't have any solid washi. Amazon. But I love, you know how now I'm using my Leuchtturm for my daily. Yes. Right now. And you're making me want to even make my dailies, like, more colorful, neater or something. <laughs> but I guess I could just go with every day how I'm feeling. Yeah. Like some days I would have no time and I have to scribble. And But this is totally motivating me because I, I really love it. I love to see how you've been planning. So really fun. Okay. So she will keep us updated yes. on how her planning is going through Instagram. And then we will do a catch-up video like in the summer and see how she's doing. But this is her very first bullet journal. I have never bullet journaled other than like daily planning. Yeah. So, um, but if you have a bullet journal, this cover is like, is life. It's so pretty. I it know. Luxurious. Oh, I agree. It is a huge splurge. Yes. It's a huge splurge, but it's a great birthday or Christmas present. Yes. Or something to save up for. Yes. Like for yourself. Um, I really like how the elastic pokes through the back yes and I just keep it like that right when, when you I'm, don't need it yeah, and then it I just really like it and that again that is one star leather goods but I will link them down below and I will link my video review of my cover so you if you guys are interested in the cover and want more details they are a great company that is just um small business made in a garage in LA and the owner was just a pleasure to work with and so Highly recommend that company. I honestly have, like, oh, I love that cover so much. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I mean, I, know. I do agree with you with the business card. Holder. I wish I would have known that, but there was just no way But that that's I knew not that. necessarily a fault on their part. Right. And some people don't like to keep their front cover in. Like, Jen yeah. from Pretty Neat Living never keeps her front cover in. Yeah. I don't know her reasoning because she hasn't. Does she keep stuff in the pockets? She I can't might. remember. I can't remember. I've kept stuff off and on, so that's why I didn't have it. Okay. Yeah. But it still feels great even if you're not sticking it yeah. in the front. But, okay, well, thanks, Molly. I'm so glad we got to do our video, and we'll catch up with you again in a few months. All right. Bye. Happy planning, everybody. Bye-bye.